Howdy. So, today's my birthday. I'm 55 and every year since I turned 50 on my birthday, I've ridden a century. So, let's go ride a century. Quick stop at Forest Lawn because what's more of a celebration of life than uh, hanging out at the cemetery? Behind me is the bomb bicycle bridge that goes over uh, Las Feliz. And uh, that used to be my target a few years back. If I could get to here, I was like, ah, I had a good ride. Now it's, uh, let me see, about 8% of today's ride. So, yay. Too early for a hot dog. Dang. Dockweiler Beach, one third of the way. I don't know what it is about this place, but it seems mighty, mighty. It's just letting it all hang out. 60 miles in, uh, that's the Queen Mary back there. If you have any interest in the Queen Mary, my advice would be go, because there was just an article in the LA Times that said uh, it's really falling apart and they actually are afraid it might sink within the next two years. So uh, go. <laughs> so I'm a little more than uh, two thirds of the way done. I got about 30 some miles to go. And this thing right here, that uh, is nothing for most people, but for me, that is the spot where the first time I tried to do the LA River Marathon, not marathon, the LA River Century Ride, um, I, I conked out. And this is where I actually had to call the sag wagon and uh, get picked up to go home. Today, I will not be calling the sag wagon. I will be continuing that way. At least, at least until uh, Union Station. And then we'll see how we feel. But I think I'm gonna make it home. Okay. So this is um, Evergreen Cemetery. Not particularly green. Uh, I guess not really ever. Evergreen Cemetery is the oldest cemetery in Los Angeles. And it has a lot of uh, important historical figures in it. Actually, a lot of these people were originally buried in their own backyards. And then uh, someone said, hey, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should keep the ground separate. And so they, um, they have this cemetery. And some of the people who are here, um, George Ralph's, Ralph's Market. His name is Ralph's, oh, Ralph. So when you say Ralph's Market and without the apostrophe, that's correct. Um, Isaac Lankersham and Isaac Newton Van Nuys, who um, ha, used to own all of the San Fernando Valley, pretty much. Um, Biddy Mason, Biddy Mason, amazing person. Um, I'll write about her in the long thing below. Um, but basically, just an amazing businesswoman, um, born a slave. Um, so many other people. There are a ton of carnies buried here. Uh, uh, the, the, the guy who was the first human cannonball from compressed air, not just a regular, uh, apparently there were other human cannonballs, but the compressed air guy was, is buried here. His dad invented the thing. Um, there's a whole bunch more people. I can't remember them, um, but uh, I'll write it up. So you'll have to go look at Luke has a bike to uh, uh, find that out. Okay, I'm gonna go ride. I'm almost done. I got like 18 miles. So this is Mariachi Plaza in uh, just east of Los Angeles. I guess you call it East LA, who knew? Um, and if you ever need mariachis, they're usually here. You can find them. Come get yourself a mariachi today. I'm back at uh, Union Station. You know, uh, Union Station hosts lots of stuff. Most recently it did the uh, the Academy Awards. And um, the thought was that it would somehow bring lots of attention to Union Station. So uh, what it really did was it just nothing. Did you watch the Academy Awards? Did anybody? Not this year. You have to go to movies to want to watch that. Apparently, they knew it was my birthday. <laughs> they love me. Why, well, yes, I did get a flat tire eight miles from home. At least it's the back tire, so it's less convenient. Okay, you want to see something frustrating? Look at this. Tire, right? These are newer. They're 
different wheels and I hadn't ever changed the tire on them before. So uh, they're a pain in the neck. Really hard to get it off, but I finally fought it on and got it. Uh, so the tube was in, everything's straight, good to go, except, let's see if I can find it for you, right here. So this is the stem of the tube right here. It's the stem from the tube that I got from my old uh, rims, which were um, less uh, less deep, they were more shallow. So this one, that stem, doesn't stick out enough for my pump. So after fighting with it for an hour, or five minutes or whatever, I'm stuck. Ah! Okay, different helmet, different bike. I'm gonna go around four miles. Okay, here's a question. Robert E. Howell, this guy. Why is Robert E. in quotes? Is, uh, is that not his real name? Uh, my name is Jeff Howell, but uh, everybody calls me Robert E. I don't get it. Robert, get rid of the quotes. Makes no sense. Okay, so done. Um, um, I don't have the actual numbers here, so I'm gonna just pretend like I'm, I know the numbers. Um, and I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll put them up. So you'll know the numbers before I will. Um, I originally went this many miles instead of a full century, but that annoyed me. So I got on my other bike, this bike, and I rode this many miles, which as you can see, adds up to this much more than 100 miles. So I've done it. I've gone my century, life is good. And uh, now I'm gonna go in and edit this together. And uh, that's my birthday, bye.